Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu, and welcome to another drawing tutorial on my Mei Yu Art channel. I want to say thank you for all your likes and comments in my previous tutorial. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw a cute, fun to draw fox step by step. It's going to be really quick and easy, and I hope you're going to like this. You can check out my fun to draw channel, and you'll see over 600 drawing tutorials on lots of different things from easy to advanced like my more advanced drawing tutorial playlist and my easy anime manga drawings and also you'll find more cute and easy fun to draw tutorials. I hope my different videos can help you expand your creativity and your drawing skills in different ways. Okay, so first I'll start with just a dot in the middle right here near the top of the page and then from here I'll draw a curve going out like that. I'll keep the curve like that. So I'm going down now. And don't worry if your drawing doesn't look exactly like mine. As long as you're having fun and you're practicing your art, that's the most important thing. Okay, so once we have this big curve, we'll go out again this way. So this is the forehead. It's a big forehead for the fox because this is a good way to make him look cute. Now let's go out into a short little nose. Okay, and then I'll round the nose up. So I want things to be quite round looking. Nothing's too jagged or too sharp for a cute look. Okay, now I'm going into a cute little smile. There we go. It's a happy fox. Okay, now I'm drawing the bottom part of the mouth. And now from here I want to go across and up towards the cheek fur right around here. Okay, and you'll notice that the line is not exactly like straight. It's a little curved right here. So that's a good way to make your drawing look more natural and organic. So once we have the slight curve for the cheek, I'll go up like that and then go down. So this is a good way to draw simple fur. Just keep these little points kind of rounded and then I'll go up a little bit. Okay, so once we have that, let's go into some big ears. I'll draw this line here so you can see where I begin, and then basically just continue that as a slight curve, like this. And then go down. So now we have this curved triangular kind of area. Of course, I'm not going to draw a cross because we have to make sure the ear looks attached to the head. Okay, so we have one side and let's get the other ear on the other side. Won't be as tall because of the distance and the angle. And then go down. Okay, and now let's continue this curve of the head. So imagine this line going across and then we'll see the back part of the head like that. So basically this will just go right into the cheek fur line. Okay, once we have that, let's go into the nose. I have a small little triangle shape and to make the nose look shiny, just add a little highlight on top and I'll color in the bottom part of the nose but I'm leaving the top part unshaded. Okay, very good everyone. So once we have the basic shape of the face, let's go into the eye. So I'll start a curved cheek line right here. It's really close to the bottom of the face. From this cheek line, let's go up a little bit. Got the spot right there so you can see. And then draw a curve for part of the eye. Draw another curve facing the other way. 
Then one more curve going down. So we have the side of the eye and this will be nice and dark. If you want more practice on drawing all kinds of cute, fun to draw animals, food, pets, and cute chibi teenagers and girls, you can check out my fun to draw apps on the App Store and the Play Store for your mobile devices. And you can learn all kinds of different cute fun to draw characters that are not seen in my videos. And it's kind of like having me as your own personal art teacher because I also have my voice instructions in there. So you'll know exactly what to draw, when to draw it, and how to draw it. And the links are in the video description and I hope they'll help you. Okay, so now we have the big eye. Let's get the pupil in there. So he'll be looking back at you. Very cute and friendly. We have a highlight and then draw diagonal to start the shading in the eye. Okay, so we're almost done with the eye. Let's just draw a few more lines diagonally and they'll get smaller and smaller as I go down. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, so once we have the eye done, let's draw a friendly looking eyebrow. So I drew this furry looking curve above the eye and for fun, let's add another one right here. So really gives the sense of 3D-ness to your drawing. And once we have that, let's start with a marking on the face. So I'm starting from the nose and I'm curving slightly up towards the eye. And I won't go up too far, I'll just maybe go up halfway. And then going down a little bit. And I'll go right across into the cheek fur. Okay, for fun, I think I'll close this area off in the eyebrow. I think it gives him a really interesting look. And then for the ears, for this one, I'll draw another curve going down. And then I'll draw a few of these little bumps like that. So kind of similar to how I drew the fur on the side of the face. So we have similar fuzzy looks right here. And then draw another curve that's kind of close to the edge of the ear. And then just close it off. So that's a really simple way to draw the inside part of the ear. And add some little hairs. Okay, the other ear is kind of flipped to the back, so we're not going to see the inside part. We see the back part. To make this look more like a fox, I like to shade the tip of the ears, like that. And then one more right here. Great, so once we have the face done, let's go into the body. It's going to be a cute short little body because I want everything to be just nice and short and stubby looking. I made the headline a little bit thicker so you can see it better. Make it a little bit thicker right here too. Okay, for the body, let's begin by the underside of the face and I want to draw a curve that comes out and then I'll draw a few more of these curves. So that's a good way to make the chest look fuzzy, similar to how we did the cheek and inside the ear. Once we have this, go towards the back. I'll draw the back coming down. And I want to draw a little bump for the adorable little bum in the end. Okay, I won't draw the legs just yet. Once we have this curve, I want to continue this curve, but it's not the butt this time. It's the big 
fluffy tail. So curve up like that. So I want this tail to go around and then down. I think it's a very cute pose. So we have this nice big curve right here. I'll make the tail look thick enough. Thick and cozy and warm. Okay, for the tip, I'm going back now. And then draw another big curve that follows it all the way towards the body. Okay, there we go. For the tail marking, just draw a few of these round curved lines all the way along the end. Okay, we're almost done. Now for the rest of the body details, like the legs, I have a curve. So that's a good way to just summarize the bent part of the leg in there. And then the front leg will come down like that. And everything else is kind of hidden, which is nice. Okay, so we have that, and let's draw a little bit of the belly. And let's draw the other front leg sticking out. So we have this cute little paw, and draw one little line to show that it is a paw, followed by the marking in the leg. Just like that. Okay, I hope this tutorial helped you. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. And if you're new, please like and subscribe so you won't miss my future videos. There you go! I have a new anime app out now on the App Store. Oh, many of you have been waiting for this. It's called How to Draw Easy Faces and Hairstyles and features my new, never-before-seen original designs. In How to Draw Faces and Hairstyles, you can draw and color all kinds of female and male faces and hairdos like a glamorous teen, a flower girl, hot guys, emo teen, a cheerful girl on her phone, and more characters. Helpful bonus tips will show you eye placement comparisons on the face, different face shapes, hairline comparisons, and more. I show all the steps from start to finish so you'll know what to draw, when to draw it, and how to draw it. I also show you coloring steps to add life to your drawings and characters. It's kind of like having me as your own mobile art teacher. Follow along on your own paper at your own pace. Plus, this anime app has something new. I created bonus tips in the last two items. I hope to give you more ideas and examples to further your skills. Download my new anime app from the App Store for your Apple devices today to start drawing. They also make good birthday and holiday gifts and fun things to do after school and on weekends. Download links are in the video description and in the end card. Try my new app now and I hope it helps you expand your creativity and drawing skills. The more you draw, the better you draw. By the way, many of you told me you want more Funny Draw tutorials. If you want to learn how to draw and color more cute, easy Funny Draw cartoons, download my Funny Draw apps for Apple and Android. You'll learn how to draw and color all kinds of Funny Draw animals and people, Funny Draw food, dogs and cats, wild animals, and fun to draw makeup, jewelry, furniture, and stylish girls. They're like your own mobile art teacher. My easy voice instructions and color-coded steps tell you what to draw, when to draw it, and how to draw it, so you can turn a simple shape into a complete character. Links are in the video description. The more you draw, the better you draw. Try my fun to draw apps and ebooks today.